Now that we've built a small note generator using the make note object, let's take it one step further and build a small note sequencer out of this. So I'm going to move this over to make a little bit more room. And how about we add a metro object? And why don't we give it an argument of 8n, which is 8th notes in the max time format. So this will correspond to whatever tempo we are set in Ableton and will trigger automatically at the 8th note rate. So once we connect the output of this to our bang and turn on our metro by connecting a toggle and flipping it on, we have a little note sequencer. So we have control over our pitch here independently, we have velocity, and we have our length of our note as the duration argument into our make note object. So, since this is pretty simple so far, well, we'll turn this off. Let's make it a little bit cooler. Let's actually add a random object, which we looked at earlier. The random object will do exactly that, generate a random number output in the range that we give it. So. Let's give it a 24 argument. So it's gonna be about two octaves of pitches. And what we'll do is actually add a math object to get this in the range that we want. So we will say plus 48. Connect the output here to plus 48. And so now we're gonna to have to fit this into our patch. So let's move these over a little bit. Take our first two arguments over here, move the pitch up. And so now what we're going to do is actually disconnect this int box. Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to disconnect the pitch connection. And we're going to put in between the int. We can actually totally get rid of this int now because what we're going to be doing is through our bang of the metronome, we're going to be triggering our random value of pitch. So that in there and we'll connect the bang to the random object and now when we turn this on we have a nice little random MIDI note sequencer so if we actually add an int box connect it to the output of our plus 48 we will see our pitch number coming through now one thing I want to point out that's cool about the int boxes here is that there's a couple different display settings for an integer box. If we open up our inspector, we see that the first display in here, it says display format. So if we click on this, we see there's a, a few different options we have. One of them being MIDI at the bottom. So if we switch this to MIDI, go back, now we actually see the pitch name of our MIDI note and in the range that it's used, such as C3, C4. So this is a little bit more useful in the musical sense since we're looking at numbers and we want them to actually be translated into notes. So actually we'll get this one step further. Why don't we take our random and why don't we shift it over to trigger the length change as well. So we'll have a little bit of note variation. So let's actually go ahead and add another random object. This time give it a 800 so it's going to go 0 to 799 will be its range so we'll plug it into length and now we'll have this bang button trigger first the length change and then the pitch so now we have a cool little random note sequencer